Okay, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you three different designs for shops in Theme Park Tycoon 2. In one of my videos, I said I really hated how these shops are like so simply designed. These stalls are so freaking basic. Look at these. So I'm going to show you how to decorate the outside of them to make them look way better. And also, these will be guest accessible by the end. So guests will be able to shop here, but there actually is going to be stuff on the outside that's going to make it look way better. So let's get right to this video. My thought for this one to make something round and like almost like a little hut we're gonna grab that and we're gonna go all the way to primitives and we're gonna find the first one right here we don't have to really find it because it's already there we're gonna make it pretty thin just like that to one fourth and then we're gonna place it like right here just right behind the stall like that and now we're gonna click on this stall and we're gonna grab another primitive but this one's not gonna be used for building but for a reference point for the circle around it so this one we're gonna get a sphere and then we're gonna put a little sphere up here and now we're gonna shift this up one two three four five just like that and it's in one fourth snapping by the way and now we're gonna grab this wall back here and we're gonna use the reference point in our snapping settings we're gonna go to custom snapping and we're gonna use 40 snapping just like that when we rotate it from this middle piece it's gonna match up so perfectly right there and so we're gonna place those all around all around like this like this like this like this like this until we meet up one more time like that now what we want to do is get this again and lift it up and now do it one more time around so here's our second time around you can use a resizing tool to make it taller and just do it the first time but I'm just gonna do it this way now we want to grab this little circle we made in the middle and we're just gonna lift it up a little bit higher probably just about that high we're gonna keep using that circle for other things too okay now we want to grab this same primitive that we used but make it smaller just like that we're gonna make it this super thin and small just like this we're gonna go on to our snapping to 22.5 snapping and we're gonna snap it just about this rotation right there just like that now it's kind of like meeting up to where it was before and now we want to use the resizing tool to just resize it two out just like that so it's sticking out a little bit from that side and now we're gonna lift all the way up until we meet the middle right here so we're gonna keep on lifting until we're at the middle I think that's the middle we're gonna use this reference point to make sure that we're at the middle okay actually we're not at the middle because look there's still a little bit of space in between those so we're gonna lift it up and keep going and I think we're gonna go to no snapping for this because it has to be really really perfect and I think just right there is pretty good so now we have it basically to the middle over here and it's just like a little strip now we're gonna grab this strip and then we're gonna use this as rotation and I'm gonna go here to rotation snapping again we gotta make the rotation like super super small because we're gonna place a ton of these so maybe we will do like 10 I don't know if 10 will work let's try it for a minute I was like wait that looks really bad but actually it's kind of like a hut so it kind of makes sense for it to have a gap here because it's like basically just grass and stuff so I think I like the little gaps that it makes right there so we're gonna keep going all the way around with those gaps we're just gonna place and place and place and place and place and place until your finger literally just stops working and there we go oh my gosh guys that looks so cool now we can delete that center point because we don't really need it anymore but what we want to do is grab these walls right here and we're just gonna make them a little bit smaller we're gonna just make it one smaller just like that on all of these ones right here now we're gonna go to this other side and make it one smaller again and then one smaller again if we go to our paths we can actually place a path right there perfectly and it like fits on the walls like it looks pretty good so it's actually guest accessible because people can actually just walk in here and buy stuff now we're just gonna paint it we're probably just gonna paint it like a like a beige color and then we'll make that what in and then we'll do all of that on the outside now we can go to grass i think grass will work i hope grass will work and then we can make it like a lighter beige color and maybe that'll work yeah i actually think that looks pretty cool now we just gotta add our lighting so we're gonna go here we're probably just gonna get lanterns so we're gonna get some lanterns here's the lantern we want and then maybe we'll do this big one and then we'll just place the lantern and we'll make it a little bit brighter and boom there we got our whole thing now all we have to do is paint oh whoa 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 we missed a spot there we go okay now all we have to do is paint the stall whatever color we want we're just gonna make that like orange and then i think this gray i don't think the gray does anything yeah it does not do anything and i'm gonna match the other orange color with that and boom we're done okay let's move on to the next one okay for this next shop we can actually make it three wide just like that so now you have three shops you can make them any shops you want too. they don't have to be soft drinks now we're gonna go to primitives again yes there's a lot of primitives involved in this we're actually gonna grab this big block right here and we're gonna go to one fourth snapping and we're actually just gonna make it one two 
three smaller one two three smaller and we're gonna make it pretty tall kind of like that tall it doesn't really matter how tall and now we're gonna go a little bit closer and a little bit closer that way and that's kind of good now we're gonna do that on the other side just like this and now we can do it to the back side like that and then the other side like like that and if you notice it is sticking in a little bit like it's going inside of the shop a little bit on each of the corners okay now we want to grab this same thing and just make it a little bit thinner and a lot shorter and now we're just gonna make like a wall on each of the sides so like right there and then we'll make one like right here and we'll also make one in the front so we'll make it go a little bit lower right where like the counter is for the actual thing so look there's the table for the actual stall we're just gonna do it right above that table now we're gonna extend that to all the way to that side and now we're gonna do that same thing on the back side where we just drag that and place it not that hard okay like this and then rotate it as much as you want and make the roof thinner and now we're gonna extend it a ton we're gonna extend it a ton just like that and we're gonna look lower it just until it's like at the edge of these right here so it doesn't look way too tall we can lower these back ones just a little bit and now we can paint it whatever color we want i'm gonna paint it pink oh not grasping not grasping plastic pink and boom there's our second shop that one's more of like an outdoor one and i actually really hate the pink i have to change it to something else maybe we'll just do blue and then maybe the stalls can be pink yeah that looks pretty cool okay that one's more of a simpler design this one's a little more complex but it still looks pretty cool now for our last stall right here we're going to be going also to primitives and again the same primitive and we're gonna do again we're gonna go to one fourth snapping and make it that thin right there now from here i'm just gonna extend it like one two three four that's good and then same on the other side one two three four boom and actually totally forgot to actually make it higher we're gonna just make it probably like that high one higher than the actual stall height and then same right here we gotta count again guys one two three four perfect and now we're gonna rotate it to the right and we're gonna make it way bigger and make basically just the back wall and now for the front we're going to actually be doing something different we're gonna lower it to like right here and place that and then we're gonna make it higher and make this thinner to about right there and now there we got like a little box thing okay now we're gonna grab this same one we did down here we're gonna lift it up like right there and then make it thinner and we're gonna make it really really thick like that and we're gonna adjust it to make it just stick out from the front a little bit more than it's sticking out from the back kind of like this and i'm gonna lift it up a little bit there we go kind of like there and we're gonna place that now the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to others right here keep scrolling until we find where is it where is it this thing right here i don't know what it's called a small marquee that's what it's called and then we're gonna grab that and we're gonna place it just above this little opening right here kind of like right there we're gonna place two of these we're gonna place one right there and then one like halfway through there make sure it doesn't glitch in the middle too now for this one we can paint it any color we want i'm gonna paint it okay for this one i actually found out a really cool little color scheme basically it's just gonna be pink with white and blue as these and white and blue as the shop too and boom we have a pretty cool shop right there all right so that is basically gonna be all three of the shops i think my favorite is going to be this one right here and then my second favorite is this one and then this one's just a little chunky but if you're making like a really big shop this this would be probably the one you want to go with this one is more like literally you can put this anywhere you want and it will look cool and this one it's more of like a theme based park so if you're making a theme that kind of is like this kind of hut theme then this would be cool to make in your park if you're gonna use these in your parks then make sure to go subscribe down below thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one